Fearless John. <gasps> Sorry, I just felt scared. Haven't you ever felt scared about anything? Haven't you ever felt frightened about, I don't know, spiders, for example, or mice, or I don't know, night? John hasn't. A boy called John. He has never been scared about anything at all, unlike me, and unlike his brother Paul, who was always scared about spiders, and John always said, there are only spiders, about mice, there are only mice, about darkness. He didn't care about anything at all. And he actually wanted to know what it was to be scared. And he said, hmm, I want to know what being afraid is, what being frightened is. I want to know that. And Paul always said, no, no, it's better not to know. It's better not to know, it's always better. So John was very strong and he was never scared. But there is a secret. Shh. He was in love, you know, in love of his neighbor. And he always, always, always used to go, you know, to sing for her. Like, my darling, I love you. But her father thought that he wasn't good for her. He thought that he didn't know how to do anything, nothing at all. So one day, John said, I'm going, I'm going somewhere to find adventure, to find some excitement. Mm, I want to know what it is to feel scared. I want to know what it is to feel frightened. I really, really want to know. So he left, he grabbed his things and he left. Oh, it was getting dark oh, and he was very, very tired. So he decided to stop and sleep. But suddenly there was a witch, you know, a very ugly witch with long fingers and like greeny skin and a big ugly nose. And the witch was, oh, go away from here, go away. And John said, oh, leave me alone, let me sleep. Who do you think you are? And the witch was very surprised. You know, she was used to making people scared. She was used to scaring people, making them feel afraid, you know. And she was, you are not afraid of me? You're not afraid at all? And Jan was like, no, I'm not. You stink and you are quite disgusting, but scary? No, now let me sleep. Go, go away and let me sleep. <laughs> And he carried on sleeping. So as you can see, John was very brave. So the next morning, he carried on walking and walking and suddenly in front of him, he saw a castle, a beautiful big castle. But he didn't know that that castle was enchanted. You know, enchanted with ghosts, demons, monsters. John didn't care, but it was so, so, so enchanted that even the king had to move out. You know, the king had to go. So John thought, hmm, an enchanted castle. How interesting. I might learn how to be afraid. I might feel fear for the first time. So he went to talk to the king. Your majesty, I want to feel fear. I want to go to the castle. And the majesty was very interested. He had never seen anything like that before, never. And he said, okay, John, but three nights, three whole nights will you have to spend at the castle. And if you achieve this, if you make it, you will have half of my fortune, of my money, of my power, of my wealth. And Nothing else, but I don't think you will make it because nobody has achieved this, nobody at all. But John said, okay, let's try. So he went and he was in the castle, he found a comfortable bed and he decided to go to sleep. So he started to sleep. 
But suddenly a ghost came and he woke John up. And John wasn't very happy to be woken up, you know, he hated that. So he said, who, who the hell do you think you are to wake me up? Go away, ghost, go away. But the ghost didn't go away. So John grabbed the stick with fire and threw it to the ghost. And the ghost disappeared. And John said, I will carry on sleeping. And he carried on sleeping. He was so brave. So the next morning, he was very happy. He opened the window and he yelled, I have already spent one night, one whole night. And the king answered, yes, but you still have two to go. <laughs> and John thought, okay, two to go. So the next night, he prepared his bed, very cozy, very comfortable, and started to sleep. But suddenly three heads, three flying, floating heads, came to disturb John and woke him up. And you know that John gets very, very angry if you wake him up. Go away, leave me alone. Who do you think you are to wake me up? Huh? And they didn't want to go away, so he grabbed the stick and kicked them back as if he were playing tennis. You know, one, two, three, and he actually enjoyed it. He would have carried on all night, all night, all night playing tennis, you know. And he was very happy and he went to bed. He was very tired. He hates being woken up. So the next morning he opened the window and he yelled, Ha! Ah, I have already spent two nights, two whole nights. <laughs> and the king answered, yes, but you still have one to go, one to go. And John thought, okay, I have one to go. Cool. And the next night, John got his bed ready and went to bed and started to sleep. But suddenly a tiger, you know a tiger, one of these animals with a lot of stripes that are very scary and have long teeth, they can eat you, you know. And he started and the tiger got John's head. John's head was inside the tiger's mouth. Can you imagine? Inside the tiger's mouth. But, you know, you and me, we would be paralyzed of fear. We wouldn't move. The tiger would eat us, but not John. John was brave. And remember, he didn't know what fear was. So with his strong hands and all his character and power, he opened the tiger's mouth well, well opened and punched the tiger. And the tiger, like a little pussycat, went away, meow, 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 and went away. <sighs> and John was very angry. He said, now I want to sleep. Let me sleep. And he went to sleep. And the next morning, he didn't even go to the window to celebrate the three nights. He directly went downstairs to see the king. And the king said, well, yes. Congratulations, John. Very good. I give you half my fortune and thank you. I can go back to my castle. I can be a normal king again and live in my castle. Hooray! Hooray! And everybody was very happy. And John was very happy, but he still didn't know what fear was. Huh. What was fear? He didn't know. He just knew that he had some money, so very, very, very happy. John went back home. But you will never know what happened. He got home and his darling neighbor was ill. And the father, who had never liked John before, was very happy to see John. Oh, John, come here, come here. My darling daughter, she has been ill since the day you left. Please come, come. And John, who didn't care about money, he left the money and saw his darling feeling ill and lying on the bed that he felt something that he had never felt before. He felt nervous, anxious, 
His eyes were starting to water. He wanted to cry. He was frightened. He could feel his heart going faster and faster and faster. He had never felt that before. Never! So he started to cry and he held his darling's hand and, well, he kissed her and she got better. She opened her eyes and felt better. And John said something that he had never said before. He said, oh, my darling, you scared me. <laughs> And imagine that John had gone so, so, so far to know what fear was. <laughs> so, thank God, they were in love, they got married, and they lived happily forever after. <laughs>